Good day everyone. Today we will discuss about how to solve problem solving involving real numbers. So first let us have this example. Cherry worked on her mathematics homework for one fourth R and her science homework for five over eight R. So how long did she spend in all doing homework? So we have to add the given fractional part of the homework for mathematics and the homework for science. So we have the solution, 1 fourth plus 5 over 8. But take note that we cannot add these two fractions because they are dissimilar. So we have to get the LCD. So the LCD, we have the denominators which are 4 and 8. So the LCD is 8. So we have to get the equivalent fraction of 1 fourth wherein the denominator is 8. So we have 2 over 8 plus 5 over 8. So how do we get 2 over 8? So we just simply divide the LCD by 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then multiply it to the numerator. So 2 times 1 is 2. So we have 2 over 8 plus 5 over 8. So we can now add these two fractions because they are similar fractions. So it is equal to 2 plus 5 which is 7 over the LCD which is 8. So the answer is 7 over 8. So we have this, how long did she spend in all doing homework? So the answer is 7 over 8 R. Now let us have the second example. There are 40 students in a class. Three-fourths of them are girls. So how many boys are there? So first, we have to solve for the number of girls. So to solve for the number of girls, we have to multiply 40 by the fractional parts of girls, which is 3 fourths. So 40 times 3 fourths. So we can cancel 40 and 4 because they are divisible by 4. So 40 divided by 4 is 10 and 4 divided by 4 is 1. So now we can multiply numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. For this fraction, the denominator is 1. So we have 10 times 3, which is equal to 30 over 1 times 1, which is 1. And 30 over 1 in simplest form is 30. So there are 30 girls in the number of students. But since the problem is asking for the number of boys, so how are we going to solve for boys? So it's just simply 40 minus 30. So the number of students subtracted by the number of girls equals the number of boys. So 40 minus 30 is equal to 10. So therefore, there are 10 boys in a class. Now let us have example number three. So we have one day in Baguio, the temperature went from negative 4 degrees Celsius to 7 degrees Celsius. So what is the change in temperature? So for this solution, we have to subtract the second temperature by the first temperature. So we have 7, changing it in temperature. So we have 7 minus negative 4. And take note that for the rule in subtraction, we have to get the minuend, then change the operation symbol to plus, and then get the opposite of the subtrahend, negative 4 to positive 4. So we will now have 7 plus 4, which is equal to 11. So the answer for the change in temperature is 11 degree Celsius. For question number four or problem number four, we have here the elevation of Mount Everest is 28,023 feet. The elevation of the Dead Sea is negative 415 feet. So find the difference in the elevation between the Mount Everest and the Dead Sea. So again, um, the... the Elevation minus the, the first elevation minus the second elevation. So we have the solution 28,023 minus negative 415. So for the rule of subtraction, we will come up with 28,023. 
change the minus sign to plus sign and get the opposite of negative 415 to positive 415. So we have 28,023 plus 415, which is equal to 28,438. So therefore, the answer for this problem is 28,438 feet. Now, let us have example number 5 for problem solving involving real numbers. So, Angie cleans two-thirds of the yard. Alex cleans one-fourth of the remaining. What fraction of the yard is left unclean? So, we have this solution that we will subtract two-thirds from one. And to subtract it, so we will change one into three over three minus two-third and three over three minus two-third is equal to one-third take note that we can only subtract fractions if they are similar fractions now let us multiply one-third by one-fourth because it is the part that alex cleans in the yard so we have 1 times 1 is equal to 1 and 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So one, 1 over 12 part of the yard, Alex clean. And for to get the fraction of the yard that is left unclean, so we will add 2 thirds for Angie and 1 over 12 for Alex. So we have here the LCD which is 12. So Write the equivalent of 2 thirds, wherein the LCD is 12. So we have 8 over 12. So 8 over 12 plus 1 over 12, it is equal to 9 over 12. So this is 9 over 12 is the fraction of the yard that is cleaned. So we will subtract 9 over 12 from 1. And we get the lowest term of 9 over 12, which is 3 fourths. So, 1 minus 3 fourth. So, it is equal to renaming 1 with a denominator of 4, which is 4 over 4 minus 3 fourth. So, that we can subtract these fractions. So, 4 over 4 minus 3 fourth is equal to 1 fourth. So, the answer for this question, what fraction of the yard is left unclean is 1 fourth of the yard. Thank you for watching and God bless.